dear students in the present video we demonstrate the determination of coefficient of viscosity of the given unknown organic liquid by using ostwald viscometer first let us know the uh, requirement of the experiment okay what all chemicals are required and what all apparatus are required first and foremost we require an apparatus called as ostwald's viscometer okay this is used for measuring the time of flow of the given liquid and then we require another apparatus called as a density bottle this is also called as specific gravity bottle or pycnometer this is used for determining the density of the given liquid what else we require we require a thermometer to record the laboratory temperature and we require a stop watch to measure the time of flow going to the solvent list we require a liquid an unknown organic liquid of which we have to find out the coefficient of viscosity also we are we will be provided with distilled water for the experiment and acetone is also kept for washing purpose and drying purpose okay so let us now demonstrate the experiment the experiment contains two parts part a is determination of density of the given liquid this part has been already demonstrated to you by dr narendra sir so i will not repeat the same let us move on to this second part of the experiment that is determination of coefficient of viscosity so first and foremost we have to record the laboratory temperature by using the thermometer you should take utmost care in recording the laboratory temperature why because density of the liquid as well as coefficient of viscosity of the liquid depends on temperature so it is very very important to record the right temperature okay so now let me demonstrate how to measure the time of flow and the coefficient of viscosity using this apparatus which is ostwald's viscometer as you can see the ostwald viscometer is a u tube type of apparatus containing two bulbs okay one a larger bulb in which the liquid is taken and a smaller bulb if you carefully look at the smaller bulb okay this there are two marks one we call it as lower mark which is observed here as a white thread and an upper mark which is above the bulb okay is is another mark okay so what we do is we measure the time taken for the flow of liquid from one mark that is upper mark to the lower mark right so before starting the experiment make sure that the apparatus is clean and dry the apparatus that i have taken is ensure that it is clean and dry if it is not clean or not dry please clean the apparatus by using acetone okay since this is already clean i will not again wash it with acetone now i have to transfer the organic liquid into the viscometer please remember it is always better to first take liquid into the apparatus whether you are measuring coefficient of viscosity or whether you are measuring the density it is always advisable to first do the experiment with respect to the liquid and then perform the experiment with respect to distilled water okay first of all you have to mount the viscometer on the burette stand here you have to adjust the height of the viscometer as per your convenience at present the viscometer height is not as per my convenience so i will reduce the height of the viscometer so that it uh, is kept as per my convenience so now the viscometer is kept as per my convenience and please make sure that once you fix the height of the viscometer please do not change the height of the viscometer during the experiment okay once it is at a fixed height keep the height of the viscometer as uniform throughout the apparatus now uh, we require a pipette do you have a pipette shot first i will demonstrate determination of time of flow of the given liquid right it is always advisable to transfer a fixed volume of liquid to the uh, uh, viscometer okay since it is a uh, since i know the volume of this bulb i i am transferring 10 ml of uh, 
the liquid into the viscometer by using a pipette. When you do the same experiment with water, use the same pipette and transfer 10 ml of water. Now I am transferring 10 ml of water into the viscometer. Please note, I am transferring the liquid to the larger bulb. Please see through which tube I am transferring the liquid. Please do not transfer the liquid through the other bulb, the other tube in fact, the other tube. So we have taken sufficient amount of liquid such a way that half of the bulb is occupied by the liquid. Don't take excess of liquid that may disturb the or affect the time of flow. Now as I already told you viscosity is measured in terms of the time taken for the flow of liquid from upper mark to lower mark. Okay? So let me suck this liquid through the other bulb first. Now I have sucked the liquid much above the upper mark so that I have sufficient time to start the stop clock. Now I am waiting for the liquid, the lower meniscus of the liquid to reach that upper mark. I hope this is visible. When the lower meniscus reaches the upper mark, I have started the stop clock. Now our work is to wait for the liquid to pass through the lower mark. You can see that the liquid is flowing. It's almost reaching the lower mark. Stop the stop clock when the lower meniscus of the liquid touches the lower mark. The lower mark is here. Stop. I have stopped the clock when the liquid passes through the lower mark. The liquid is now uh, getting stabilized. Okay, it has already passed to the lower mark. I have already recorded the timing in the stop clock. It is showing one minute forty seconds. Okay, it is nothing but hundred seconds or hundred and uh, yeah hundred one one seconds to be precise. Oh, sorry. Recorded the time taken for the flow of the organic liquid. It is now 1 minute 25 seconds, which is nothing but 85 seconds. We have to repeat the experiment at least 2 or 3 times. Okay, again I have to suck the, uh, suck the liquid and measure the time of flow. And record it as trial 1, trial 2 and trial 3. The readings should be almost close to each other and I will take the average of the three values. That would give the time of flow of the given organic liquid. The next part of the experiment is we have to replace the liquid by the distilled water which is provided to us. So let me transfer the liquid into a bottle which is labeled as used liquid. Dear students please remember do not discard the liquid 
into the sink please transfer the liquid into the uh, used liquid bottle and while transferring please note the liquid sh should be transferred through this tube only don't transfer the liquid through the tube through which you are going to suck the liquid if you do so in the next part of the experiment while sucking the liquid there may be a chance that you may inhale the vapors of the liquid so all these care should be taken while you are performing the experiment safety comes first followed by accuracy of the experiment so as i already told you it is always advisable to do the experiment first with the organic solvent and then with the water since water and the organic solvents are immiscible we have to first wash the apparatus with acetone and dry it and then do the experiment with water so what i am doing now is let me close the lid of the liquid first remember don't keep any of the bottles open most of the organic liquids are volatile in nature so it is always advised and suggested to close the uh, lid of the bottles once you are done with the experiment now i am using acetone i already told you what is the purpose of acetone the purpose of acetone is for washing and drying the apparatus i am transferring a minimum amount of acetone required for washing see i am washing the bulb as well as the tube i am sucking uh, sucking a bit of uh, acetone so that it is transferred to the lower bulb and i am washing both the upper bulb as well as the lower bulb i think this is sufficient now i transfer the acetone again while discarding the acetone please don't discard it to the sink please transfer it into the same liquid and again while transferring the liquid should be transferred to through the tube through which you are not sucking the liquid okay always you have to transfer the liquid through this bulb only or to this tube only now what we have to do is we have to transfer the water to this viscometer how much volume of water the same volume of water i have to take as i have taken the liquid that is i have to transfer 10 ml of water to this apparatus and measure the time of flow okay if that will not be demonstrated here you have to follow the same procedure transfer 10 ml of water into the viscometer keep it on the stand suck the liquid suck the water through the smaller bulb and when the water level touches the upper mark start the stop clock and stop the clock when the water level reaches the lower mark record the time taken for flow of water from upper mark to lower mark repeat the experiment at least two or three times and calculate the average value of time of flow so by doing this we have recorded time of flow of liquid and time of flow of water and as part a of the experiment you have calculated density of liquid at the lab temperature density of water is a known value similarly coefficient of viscosity of water is also a known value both density of water and coefficient of viscosity of water will be provided to you in the form of a chart so knowing the density and coefficient of viscosity of water and recording the time of flow of liquid and time of flow of water and by determining the density of the liquid with these five data it is possible to calculate the coefficient of viscosity of the given liquid the same procedure holds good for any organic liquid it may be ethyl acetate or it may be toluene or any other organic liquid the same procedure holds good i hope you have understood the procedure of the experiment and i also hope that you will do the experiment accurately as well as safely thank you